Hello everyone, back to you into today's uh, third video. We're going to have a look at the ECMDF Metro France and DWD long range uh, update for today's uh, third video. So basically going to take us from September, October, November, autumn 2020 right the way through to uh, no, the chart period of November, December, January 2021. So we're going into the winter uh, with, uh, with this update, but not the full winter period yet. That will be uh, next month. So I'll get off that for you very shortly, just to say that's been a busy old day at Gasworth this day as always on a Sunday we started off with the uh, ninth and uh, final uh, autumn update so uh, we are out of autumn updates now all that's left to do is to release the uh, the forecast uh, a week today on Sunday the 30th of uh, of August that will be the day when we release Gasworth's autumn forecast there will be a season one around uh, the day before on Saturday the 29th and also the penultimate uh, Gasworth's Sunday roundup as well has been released we're near Nearly finished with those. Just one more uh, Sunday roundup to do uh, next Sunday, and then that's it. They'll be stopping uh, for the uh, winter updates from Sunday, the sixth of September. So yeah, we're getting ever ever closer now to uh, winter update season. Uh, so check out those videos uh, if you would like to do that. We're going to be live streaming from 6 o'clock. We're going to have a live stream. We're going to all check in, see how we're all doing. And we will be going through some long-range data as well. More than likely, Seth SV2. I will think this week. It's very likely, but we'll be looking at the Seth SV2, I think, this week. So, uh, so yeah, have a look at the live stream from 6 o'clock. It'll be on YouTube, across all Gazworthy's platforms as well. And, uh, and as I say, that'll be from uh, 6 o'clock this evening. Okay, then. So a big thank you to to Copernicus.eu as always uh, for uh, giving us these charts or supplying us with these charts. We begin with the mean solar pressure anomaly uh, for no for September, October, November for the auto 2020 from Metro France. So <clears throat> excuse me. This is how Metro France is looking for the autumn of, uh, of 2020 in terms of the mean sea level pressure anomaly. With high pressure to the west and southwest country, winds coming in from a westerly direction. A little bit of low pressure in the north, a little bit of low pressure to our north, but generally it's an anti cyclonic. Uh, looking signal that um, rather westerly so probably sort of averagey type conditions it wouldn't be particularly cold I don't think it wouldn't be particularly warm uh, either and the driest weather would be in the south and most of the cellar weather would be in the north okay let's go through to our next tri-monthly period and this one is going to take us through October November and December too this one has the above average heights again uh, to our south and southwest below heights or low pressure really to the north uh but generally coming in something like that so again looking rather westerly as we go into this trimonth period october november so this is probably bringing mild air i would have thought the, the weather off the atlantic will be bringing in milder air from off the atlantic ocean and then the last trimonth period is for november december january this is as far as we can go uh and again high pressure sitting over and to the west of the country low pressures up here all looking very very, very westerly, very anti-cyclonic. So you're basically saying a dry but also a, a mild or a very mild winter is looking quite likely here. Right, then let's have a look at temperature anomalies. So it's our temperature anomalies looking from Metro France of the autumn of uh, 2020. Overall looking like quite a coolish sort of autumn. Uh, really quite a, quite a coolish autumn being forecast here around the UK and Ireland with you would say temperature anomalies perhaps coming out slightly below average more than anything even across northern Europe we're only close to average really in those yellow shades because you can't like average to ever so slightly above in the uh, far southwest yes it does look a little bit warmer there up to like one degree above average through Spain and into the Mediterranean but generally most northern and uh, also western parts of Europe are, are looking a little bit on the cooler side actually then uh, for the autumn of 2020. Uh, next trimonth period is October, November, December, and uh, this one again, a little bit uh, warmer than average, or very slightly above average for Southern Europe, but generally most parts of Europe have got no signal. Uh, but those cold average temperatures are receding out into the Atlantic, though, 
Um, I would have thought this is likely to be quite mild across northern Europe, because we've got an area of high pressure uh, through here. There's a ridge through here, and sort of low pressure is up here, and so we're bringing in like these uh, these westerly winds. So I would have thought that's likely to be pretty mild as we get through to to the end of the uh, of the year, the last quarter of the year. Uh, and this one should be even milder, really. This one is November, December, January. Uh, uh, and again, we see that most parts of Europe have no ceiling. It's a little bit warmer than average across the far north northeast Europe, and also a little bit across some of Europe. Otherwise, it's no signal to ever so slightly above average, uh, uh, like ever, ever slightly uh, above average again for Southern Europe. I mean, it's a very, very weak signal, and uh, given that, that it is generally looking like a westerly setup, you will think we're bringing in the jet stream uh, a little bit like that, with, with low pressure up here and high pressure uh, down there. You will think that, that this is going to be like uh, Atlantic driven. Uh, and pretty mild, albeit under high pressure. So, so yes, a ridge in the winter, I suppose, could be a little bit cool. But you'll think overall this is uh, uh, a mild setup. So, so I would expect, given the mean set of pressure anomaly that Metro Fancy forecast, that if it came off, then, then it would be a mild of an average sort of uh, early to mid winter. Precipitation anomalies, rainfall anomalies with Metro France looking like this. So again, very, very weak signals. It's a little bit dry and average down to our southwest. I suppose that's where we've got a lot of high pressure uh, from Spain out into the Atlantic. Otherwise, most places, again, no signal uh, for the autumn of 2020 with bad precipitation. Uh, next time monthly period is October, November, December. And again, we see that Northern Europe is a little bit wet and average around Scandinavia. Very weak signal. Western parts of Europe average to a bit drier than average, uh, really. And then uh, the final uh, trimonthly period. Otherwise, most places no signal. Then the final trimonthly period is for November, December, January. Again, really, really weak signals here. We do see that Scandinavia, again, is just a little bit wetter than average. Slightly above average rainfall there. Uh, so a little bit drier than average again. Like through Western uh, France, uh, North parts of Spain, a little bit dry on average there. Otherwise, lots and lots of white going on. Lots of no signal. Clearly, there's going to be high pressure through here. There's probably a little bit of low pressure up there. Uh, and winds again are generally a little bit on the on the westerly side. So weak signals uh, with temperature precipitation from Metro France, but it does look rather uh, westerly in terms of the overall setup. Uh, right, then ECM WF uh, next. So this is mean cell pressure anomaly from the ECM for the autumn of 2020. This one is showing high pressure in the middle of the North Atlantic, low pressure up towards Scandinavia. Uh, winds are sort of set up uh, on a west-northwesterly type uh, alignment. So, so uh, yes, it looks a bit northwesterly, a bit west-northwesterly. Generally, uh, I would have thought quite, um, uh, you know, again, quite mild. Uh, although in the autumn, west is not going to be overly mild early on. So west is in September. It's a transitional season. So Wesley's in September are going to be quite cool. Wesley's in November are going to be quite mild. Uh, so, so for the autumn, probably actually we come out with near normal, with near normal uh, uh, temperature anomalies. We'll see in a moment. But we go through the next trimester period, which again is October, November, December. Very much in line with what uh, with what Metro France was showing. High pressure again in the Atlantic. Winds in from like a westerly direction. Low pressure is up to the north. So again, looking rather westerly. High pressure out to our west. Reasonable amount of dry weather. And you would have thought as we go into this trimester period of October, November, December, that's going to be pretty mild. And then the next trimonthly period takes us through November, December, January. Just perhaps a few hints that high pressure pulling a bit further north was up towards Greenland. Low pressure again up here could send the jet stream on more of a northwest southeast alignment, possibly allowing for a few little colder snaps. But overall, this looks like a mild update again. I would have thought with winds off the Atlantic all the time, no northern blocking at all. Uh, Atlantic driven winds uh, with the ECM as well. Temperature anomalies for uh, September, October, November, looking like this. It's more like what I'd expect to see given the setup, uh, which is Atlantic driven. So for the extreme west of Europe, which is Ireland, UK, and the north and west of France, just ever so slightly above average. Northern Europe, Scandinavia, and down the eastern side, warmer than average by around one to two degrees. In between, we kind of like half a degree to uh, one degree above average. The next tri monthly period uh, takes us through October, November, December. Uh, again, it's warmer than average on the eastern side. Warmer than average on the east side of Europe by 1 to 2 degrees above average. Near normal precipitation, uh, near normal temperature, I should say, out to, to the west, in between, again, around 1 degree above average. Most parts of Europe are a little bit warmer than average, just Ireland and the UK, perched on the very edges of Europe, looking 
uh, uh, near a normal. But but this is more like what I expect to see with an Atlantic-driven pattern. So so I would expect an Atlantic-driven pattern in October, November, December to be milder than average. And then this goes on into the, the final trade period, November, December, January, which again is uh, going to be Atlantic-driven all bit. There might be a little bit of northwest, southeast light to jet stream. But overall, it's uh, it's a milder than an average period, especially for northern and eastern parts of Europe, one two degrees above average. Again, out in west, it's a little bit cooler next to the Atlantic Ocean, but even there, hinting at being a bit uh, above average with the temperature anomaly. Uh, ECM precipitation uh, anomaly is uh, next. So uh, again, for September, October, November, autumn 2020, it's a little bit wet average for northern Europe. Again, that's because it's Atlantic driven pattern. There will be low pressure uh, in the northern Atlantic with a ridge through here and there. And then low pressure is up here and we're bringing winds from westerly direction. So you would have thought that it's going to be wet average Scandinavia. You would have thought western summer Europe probably drier than average in that pattern. Uh, precipitation normally is moving through to October, November, December. They're looking ever so slightly wetter than average. Ever so slightly wetter than average Scandinavia. A bit drier than average across the southwestern parts of Europe. Otherwise near normal uh, precipitation anomalies are there. And um, then we go through to precipitation anomaly for November, December, January. Signals are weakening, so overall no signal for many areas. Slightly wet and average across the northern parts of Europe. Slightly dry and average across the southwest parts of Europe. Otherwise, again, most places having no signal, no signal for most uh, parts of Europe with their precipitation from the ECM for November, December, January. And then finally got DWD. So again, means mean sea level pressure anomalies from DWD for autumn 2020. They're all looking much of a muchness, aren't they, for the autumn with high pressure again sitting to, to west south west country, which actually coming in like that. Low pressure is up here, all looking very westerly and Atlantic driven for this autumn, albeit not overly unsettled. Uh, then we go through to October, November, December. The high pressure begins to ridge into the UK then. So we've got high pressure more or less centred over the UK and Western Europe. Uh, low pressure is up here. And so this is a very quiet sort of end to the year. Lots of high pressure on offer would be drier than average, you would have thought, and probably fairly mild as well. And then the final trimonthly period takes us through to November, December, January for DWD. And this one again just shows high pressure centred over the top of the country. Very little, uh, very, very little going on there. Just high pressure over the top of the country. It's an anti cyclonic early to mid winter. Could be frost and fog, but it's not, I mean, not talking about non blog. We're not taking the high pressure to Greenland. We're not really taking it up to Scandinavia. Um, so just pretty quiet and, and probably a bit on the coldish side with that. Uh, temperature anomalies for autumn 2020 with DWD, again, just slightly above average in most parts of uh, Europe, just a little bit average to like a little bit above average in those yellow colours. Next trimonthly period for October, November, December is a slightly wetter average across the far north of Europe, elsewhere sort of no signal to probably hinting at being a little bit above. Um, and the next time it appears for November, for November, December, January is looking like that. So it's slightly warmer than average over Europe, a little bit to a mild average down across the southwest, a little bit cooler than average across the North Atlantic. Otherwise, again, no signal in most areas. Very, very weak signal for all of these models, really, uh, for temperature and precipitation. Uh, finally, DWD precipitation anomaly for the autumn. So a little bit wet average in the north, a little bit dry average to the southwest of the UK. Uh, again, all looking very Atlantic driven. Next precipitation anomaly for October, November, December. Again, uh, a little bit dry and average uh, to our southwest. That's where we've got some high pressure. A little bit wet average to our north, northeast. That's, got, well, that's where we've got low pressure winds are in from a westerly type direction and then finally whoops let's go down here finally we see that November 7th January is set up to be again just a little bit drier than average really uh, through France a little bit drier than average through France a little bit wet average across North Scandinavia all looking rather quiet and uh, not much to go on so it's not the most <laughs> exciting of updates, this, is it? Um, let's face it. Uh, but they have, they have to take rough with the smooth. So uh, it looks like it's sort of Atlantic-driven, really, uh, through, through the next uh, few trimonthly periods, next couple of trimonthly periods. Autumn, 2020, looking very Atlantic-driven. 
Uh, high pressure just to our southwest, low pressure to the north, winds in from west off the Atlantic. Doesn't necessarily mean, because it's because it's Atlantic driven, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's very unsettled, by the way. Southern and southwest areas could be reasonably dry with that ridge from the Azores high. But generally, it's just looking pretty quiet, I have to say. And uh, certainly not particularly exciting if you want cold weather. Let's face it, there's not much to go on there from, uh, from a cold perspective as we're moving in towards uh, the winter months. Right, so that's it for this uh, video. Do it all over again next month. And of course, next month we'll actually start covering the full winter period, December, January, February. So that'll be a really interesting watch. We're going to do the third and final season one around for the autumn of 2020. Uh, on Saturday, this coming Saturday, and uh, all of these uh, free models, these free models, and all of the other models will be part of that uh, update. So, 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 yeah, we'll see how much support these three have from all of the other model suites, and we'll get that done for you on uh, Saturday, and then on Sunday, of course, it's the autumn forecast. We're going to see you live uh, from 6 o'clock with our live stream. So uh, check in then, see how uh, we're all doing. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a look at CFS V2 winter of 2020, 21. It's going to be a laugh. So so uh, I'll see you at 6 o'clock. Remember to check out the videos we've released so far today. Gaz will be sitting around it and the final autumn update. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you live at 6 o'clock. But for this video, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.